Well, they want to turn now to CNN military analyst and retired U.S. Air Force intelligence officer, Colonel Cedric Layton. He joins us now from Washington. Good to have you with us. Good to be with you, Linda. Uh, so when we look at the resistance by Ukraine, by all accounts, it's been impressive in the face of a, a much larger, better equipped Russian military. Talk to us about the factors that have helped uh, with the defense, uh, because if you listen to the likes of, of the former defense chief of NATO, even uh, former U.S. intelligence officials, they admit they underestimated Ukraine. Uh, why do you think Ukraine has been so effective in the first two weeks of this war? Linda, I think it, it was primarily due to the uh, fact that what we're talking about with Ukraine is they are defending their country, they are defending their territory. Uh, they learned from what happened in 2014, uh, and when you looked at every single aspect of what they're doing, it's very clear that they've mobilized the entire country. We didn't expect that mobilization to take place the way it did. In fact, if you look at all the paper figures, uh, you know, comparing Ukrainian strength with Russian strength, there, there's no comparison. The Russians are tend to have a ten times greater defense budget. Uh, the vast preponderance of uh, hardware in terms of planes, tanks, uh, troop numbers. Uh, the balance was clearly on their side, but it all matters in terms of quality. And uh, in fact, in in uh, the Ukrainian case, uh, the quality of the troops appears to be higher. Uh, their esprit de corps, as we would call it in the military, is far higher than what the Russian, appear, the Russian esprit de corps appears to be. And it's very clear that in this case, uh, the Ukrainians are fighting for a reason. Uh, the Russians didn't even know in some cases that they were going in to fight. Uh, they thought it was just a training exercise, according to some reports. And that makes a huge difference when it comes to combat operations. And the way this has played out uh, has surprised many analysts we were speaking to just last month who thought uh, if there were to be some sort of invasion, it, they would target cities near areas already held by Russian separatists. That didn't happen. Instead, we've seen this, this full-scale war across the country, uh, one that Putin, by all accounts, thought would be over quite quickly. Where are Russians making inroads? Uh, what are your concerns for the capital? Uh, do they have enough combat units to take the capital? Well, on paper, uh, the Russians seem to have enough combat units to take the capital. Uh, now, uh, that, of course, uh, tells us a few things that, uh, you know, they have units that are ready to go. They have uh, the uh, armament in terms of artillery, in terms of, uh, you know, air aircraft uh, and uh, their, their capacities. They have all of that ready to go. Uh, the question is, how are they employing it? And this is where it, it gets tricky to predict exactly what's going to happen, uh, because uh, it, you know, as, as recently as today, the Ukrainians are reporting that they have stopped a convoy of, of tanks, a column of tanks, and were able to neutralize it and force it to turn around very close to Kyiv. Uh, and you have incidents like that, if you multiply those uh, several times over, there will at least be a, a delaying action when it comes to taking the capital. But I do believe that uh, Russia's main goal is still to take Kyiv and to topple the Ukrainian government uh, and put uh, someone in there that's, uh, that's of their liking. But, uh, you know, having said that, um, the Russian forces are also spread kind of thin. Uh, they have multiple goals. They're operating in the south, as we heard from Nick Payton Walsh. Uh, they're operating in the east, uh, in the northeast. So uh, there are a lot of things that could go wrong for the Russians, and it is certainly possible that the Ukrainians could stall them uh, on their way into Kyiv, and it's there's a potential that they might not even get the city. All right. Retired Colonel Cedric Layton, plenty to discuss. We'll have to leave it there for now. Thanks so much for your time. You bet.